Uh, my name is Steve Horn. I am based out of uh, Pelham, Alabama. Um, I have a Oliver Legacy Elite 2, hole number 1405. Um, this is uh, Oreo. She's my traveling companion. She's a, she's a good size for the Oliver. <laughs> well, um, I guess I, I started looking more seriously uh, at Oliver in uh, the late part of 2022. Um, I had been looking for uh, an RV for some time. I had a, uh, I originally started thinking about uh, a Class B, uh, a camper van, uh, you know, started looking at, at uh, something like a Sprinter van. The problem I had with those were, for one thing, they're way overpriced uh, for what you're getting. Um, and also, <clears throat> uh, they're, they are a little small. So um, after sort of looking at them a little bit, I decided, well, maybe I should just buy a cargo van and build it out myself. But then I decided that, you know, I don't really want a project. I, I just want something that I can get in and go and enjoy myself and not, uh, not spend a year trying to build and get all the pieces and parts put together. So um, for that reason, I then started looking at uh, Class A's and Class C's. Um, and the, I guess the, the thing that uh, I, I didn't like about them and I kind of talked myself out of was the, the whole thing about having a motor in there and having a, having a, uh, a drivetrain, you know. Uh, motors wear out, transmissions need to be replaced. That's just the way it is with, a, with, a, uh, uh, with, a, with an engine. And plus I, I felt like if I had one of those and the places that I wanted to go, I would need to have another vehicle that I would have to tow to be able to go places and do things. So that's sort of why I honed in on the travel trailer. Uh, travel trailer, you know, you park, you unhook, and then now you've got your tow vehicle, you can, you can hit the road and go wherever you want to go, do the kinds of things that you want to do. So in, uh, in late January of 2022, I made a trip up to Hohenwald. Um, I, and you know, Phil was my, uh, Phil Andrews was my sales rep, uh, but he was out at the time. So uh, Jason uh, met with me. Uh, he was great. He showed me the, uh, he gave me a, a factory tour he brought me back to the showroom. We went through, uh, you know, got inside the Legacy Elite One and Two, and then he helped me uh, sort of fill out the initial order. So uh, I, that that was pretty much uh, uh, seal the deal for for me uh, was was getting inside them, seeing how well they fit, and. Uh, uh, you know, knowing that, that this is the kind of thing that I can live with. Um, knowing that um, this is the kind of trailer that can give me the experiences that I want to be able to, to have. Yeah, uh, the sales department has been great. Everyone that I have dealt with at Oliver has been great. Um, you know, uh, uh, Phil had been I'm sure he uh, he got tired of me texting him and emailing him constantly, <laughs> and I would call him and make changes. And uh, finally, you know, I asked him about one thing, and he said, he said, "Look, we're we're about to go into production, uh, so we're not going to be able to make any more changes. So <laughs> this is this is what it's going to be." And so uh, I I finally uh, was able to to you know work out the final spec. But um, yeah, uh, Phil was great and very patient with me, not being a, an RVer. 
uh, he was able to explain a lot of things that uh, maybe someone who had already had an RV before would already know. So he was he was great. Well, uh, well like I say, the uh, you know I started out uh, backpacking, uh, tent camping, hammock camping. I had uh, I had done a, a fair amount of that and. You know, as I am uh, approaching retirement now, uh, I've been thinking, well, I need to, uh, or I want to have a vehicle that I can do some longer term traveling in, you know, uh, go to go to uh, places that I've, I've wanted to spend more time in, but haven't been able to before now. Uh, but yeah, hiking is, is big, going to places that, uh, just the average person doesn't go to uh, is very appealing to me, uh, which is another reason for the Oliver, you know, being able to boondock uh, with the lithium batteries and the uh, solar power uh, really extends your ability to uh, go out to places that are a little bit more wild and a little bit more uh, uh, not as not as many people hanging out. I, I'm I'm not that much on uh, RV parks. Uh, I mean, yeah, they're convenient and and they are something that you know you have to do or or you know would enjoy doing every once in a while. But uh, I'd say overall, I, I really enjoy boondocking and being away from uh, other people, being in the solitude of. Uh, of the wilderness, um, you know, I'm I'm uh, into cycling, uh, uh, mountain biking, kayaking, hiking, and uh, those are the kind of things that I'm really got into this for. So, you know, I uh, I wanted something that would enable me to do those kinds of things, and the the uh, Legacy Elite Two has been so far really great with that you know i've gone down bumpy gravel roads with it and potholes and uh the suspension on it really really holds up well i, I started uh when i when i first picked up the the oliver in hohenwald uh i started um thinking you know i need to document these trips that I'm taking because it's enjoyable. You know, it's something that I wanted to be able to uh, go back and look at after uh, in the future and be able to remember things about my trips. Um, and I thought, well, you know, I'll, I'll make a YouTube channel. <laughs> so that's what I did. And I've so far I've, I've made uh, three episodes. I'm working on number four right now because uh, that'll be this trip I'm on now. Um, but, um, yeah, it's called, uh, Steve's Road Trip Chronicles. Uh, I don't know, uh, you know, search for that on, on Google. Hopefully that'll, that'll lead you to the right spot. But it's fun, you know, it's, uh, it's, I enjoy doing the video editing and, uh, I just, I just, uh, enjoy kind of telling, trying to tell the story and I'm learning. I'm learning to be a little bit more personable with the camera. I'm learning to have a story instead of just recording random things. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a, um, it's definitely a learning experience. Well, you know, like I said, um, I'm still working, um, but I'm looking at retiring here within the next few months, really. Uh, and uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to be the kind of, of person who sits at home and watches TV. Uh, that, that's just not what I'm interested in. Uh, I believe that uh, the more you stay moving, the more you stay challenging yourself, that the, uh, the healthier you'll be, the longer you, your, your enjoyment of life will last. So I look at retirement as being a whole new phase of my life. And, um, you know, the Oliver is my vehicle for that phase. Uh, I want to uh, travel up to uh, Lake Superior, go up into Canada and some provincial parks up there. 
Uh, I, I just really love the, the look of that uh, place up there. Uh, and then, you know, after that, I want to go out west. I want to uh, visit the desert and, and uh, uh, come, up, uh, come up north, uh, see some national parks, uh, spend some time in places that are, uh, you know, I may have been to before, but it was always a breeze through and never really spend any real time there learning about the place. So that's my, uh, that's my plan for the future. And, you know, I feel like uh, it's an exciting time for me. It's a, it's a time when uh, new opportunities uh, come up and uh, new adventures to have. And, and uh, really, really looking forward to it. Well, I guess uh, if I were, if I were uh, going to give someone advice about, uh, that might be looking at an Oliver, I would say, um, call Oliver and, and uh, either, either get to Hohenwald and uh, climb inside one of those, or uh, if you're not near Hohenwald, you know Oliver will hook you up with an owner who can show theirs to you. But uh, I think actually getting inside seeing that quality, that attention to detail that is uh, an Oliver trademark, uh, that really sold the deal for me. Well, I'm a, I'm a solo camper, um, and I had uh, originally uh, pretty much settled on getting the uh, Oliver Legacy Elite One, the single axle. And um, after going to Hohenwald and getting in both models, uh, you know that the Legacy Elite 2 just seemed like it just fit me a little better. Uh, hard to explain. Um, I, I, I just it just felt more like the size that I that I wanted, uh, and and it's more space than I need. It's more storage than I need, uh, but uh, it feels comfortable to me. And uh, you know I'm six I'm six foot, and uh, having that extra you know headroom and that sort of thing was uh, it just it just felt a little nicer.